asked, what are some diseases that we see that are associated with sepsis and SIRS? Well, really any infection that can uh, cause a systemic reaction. So um, pneumonia, discospongulitis, septic arthritis are um, classic causes of sepsis are going to be septic peritonitis and bacterial endocarditis. But we can also see just even bacterial translocation from severe enteritis that can cause a bacteremia or an endotoxemia and for gross to sepsis. When we think about uh, a major cause of SIRS without sepsis, in our patients we can think of uh, severe pancreatitis. So usually in our patients, pancreatitis is not caused by an infection. Uh, the um, caveat to that is we do see patients with uh, pancreatic abscesses, and that patient obviously would be then septic. But for the most part, we see um, thorough pancreatitis, so that's going to be uh, kind of our classic picture of a SIRS patient. Um, and again, uh, any wounds that are inspected, uh, significant trauma or tissue damage, again, early on it may not have an infection involved with, with the trauma, but it could progress to that. So early on you can see a SIRS situation, and, and basically a patient that has SIRS looks just like a patient that has sepsis. Um, you know, the big difference is, is we don't have a good antibiotic to treat the underlying cause. 